What's up guys? Movie Maniac here. Today we are continuing of Movie Maniac and today with our Dream DreamWorks a thon we are going to review next of Chicken Run. Now let's first talk about Ardman. Ardman is probably one of the coolest stop motion uh, production ever. I mean like they got a lot of good stuff like there was the I can't remember what the title is called, but it's a short film about stop motion animals that poops and um, does interviews. That was really cool. And the three, while well, Sugram is short, but it's become a classic. But soon will it become a movie one. But yeah, but then later, DreamWorks has been asking if uh, Armin would do a movie. And then they accepted it and they did a chicken run. Now, at first, that might sound a little bit stupid, but actually, tell you the truth, it is, it is really good. Now, <clears throat> what's the plot here? So the plot is, it's kind of like The Greatest Escape. So it's about these chickens who are in prison, who is in some kind of a prison between these two farmers, Mrs. Tweety and Mr. Tweety, the meanest farmers ever, who keeps them trapped, who keeps them trapped there and laying eggs and soup gets chopped off and eaten. And yeah, so all they've been doing all their lives is just trying to dig out of their way or anything what the great escape can do but they can never escape but till the one rooster played by Mel Gibson la lands into um, the chicken coops and the chicken think will think that the rooster can fly but it's big shock he can't he was just a circus guy from a cannon but hey at the end of the but hey they do fly at the end but yeah so yeah, but then the evil, but then the evil villain's plans was that she wanted to get more money instead of just eggs. So what does she do? What does she do? She orders a pie machine to cut up the chick, to kill the chicken and turn him into pie. So yeah, that's evil's plan, and they, that's the evil farmer's plan, and that's what the chickens are. That's why the chickens are escaping. So. The story is not that really that special. I mean, it's just one of those the great escape movies. But you know what? It's not. It's still not that bad. Now, what do I like about it is the casting. I mean, you know, like uh, when well, um, one sec. This might take a minute. Now, what I mostly like is the cast. I mean, mostly Mel Gibson. He is actually the funniest out of uh, all the cast. I mean, he is really funny. I, I mean, you know, like, there are lots of funny moments. Like, uh, what was one? Like, when he was, like, like, when he lands, when he lands into the chicken's coop, and then, like, later on, there's, like, this bird seeds that lands on him and smashes his face. Uh oh. Hilarious, but I like it how the way how his character he's like, oh yeah, I'm so popular. There's all these chicks, but they're all chickens. So who am I gonna sleep with tonight? That's what he's like, and I really like that. He, he, it's really funny. Um, and then there's also the main leader, uh, leader Ginger, which played by Julia Sawala. I don't know. I never heard of her either. But, you know, she does really good with her character, too. I mean, she was really looking forward to escaping out of that prison. I love that. It was really cool. And the rest of the cast were good. Like, let me see. Um, there's so much more. Um, let's see. What is the most memorable one? I don't know, but I think the most memorable ones that... I, I don't know. I think the most memorable ones, memorable uh, chickens has to be, is probably uh, that gen that soldier chicken. He's probably one of the funniest. He's always like, Operation Cover Up! No. Yeah, but he is probably the best part. But And there's much more. Like, I, actually, mostly the best part of the whole movie is the villains. Like, Mrs. Tweet. Like, Mr. Tweety, he learns his mistakes. And then Mrs. Tweety is freaking scary. That's what I love about this villain. She's like creepy. She's scary. She's one of the nightmares of all chickens. I really like that. And I like how creepy she is when she like puts the gloves on and stuff. And I've always got that creepy smile like ee, ee, ee. But I like how the end of the movie, how she's like a monster. Like when she was climbing up on, a Chris, on the Christmas lights 
rope and climbing on to into the flying chicken ship or flying chicken enterprises I mean I like how she looks like a monster like there's like this uh like this paper of uh, friendly Mrs. Sweetie then she rips out and it's like Grr. it's like whoa whoa yeah she's really getting pretty serious now what else I like about the movie the animation I mean stop motion this is what you call awesome stop motion like Wallace and Gromit this is like Awesome. I love the animation. It, it, I mean, the stop motion and stuff. I love it. I love the way how the chicken looks. I mean, you know, when, with the clay models and stuff, they actually look kind of a little bit realistic. I really love that. Well, kind of realistic, but two chickens. They can never get out of that. So, yeah, but, yeah. I guess that's all I have to say about the movie. So, you can tell I like this movie a lot. Is there any problems with this movie? Mm, not really. I mean, I guess the probably uh, the most annoying part has to be those two rats. Those two rats. I don't. I was like, put your head between your knees and kiss your bum goodbye. Pointless. Just pointless. And I guess that's the only thing I can think of. I don't know, but I really love this movie. I mean, it's probably one of the best out of like. Uh, the stop motion movie, the stop motion DreamWorks movies, and you know what? it's not really that bad. I say go to a video store, rent this movie, and it is really good to watch. Kids will love it, adults will love it. Yeah. So that's my so. Let's wrap this up. In conclusion, Chicken Run is one of those movies that you gotta see. It's really good. So, yeah, um, uh, what will I give this movie a rating? I will give this movie an A+. Plus. So, next up, so, next up for DreamWorks is going to be our f most famous ones that, and probably the most memorable ones that we all know. I bet you can probably know what's going to happen next. So, I'm Mr. Oh, I am the Moose, Mr. Moving Maniac here. Check out my other DreamWorks a thon. Like, right here, it's Ants. Right here, Prince of Egypt. And right here, Road to El Dorado. Coming up next, Shrek. If you haven't guessed that yet, I already told the answer to you. Now, my ultimate question today is, what is your favorite Argman film? Or at least, what your what is your favorite movie out of them? There's this Wallace and Gromit. There's Wallace and Gromit shorts, Trick and Run, and... All that stuff. Even I heard about the new Pirates movie. I really liked it. So yeah. Answer down the ultimate question below. Check out my other videos. Or up there. And like and, sus like and subscribe. And see ya.